What's going on agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and in today's division build video I wanted to have a bit of fun and show you a build that very few agents can put together and while it is not the most effective or efficient build for shredding NPCs it can more than hold its own and adds a lot of street cred to your agent's appearance. After a much needed weekend off, I am back with another build video for you guys. And as you probably guessed from the video title, this is the ultra rare all exotic build. And let's go ahead and jump right into this gear set, starting off with the Barrett's Bulletproof chess piece. This gear piece originally dropped for me with a primary electronics role, and I immediately recalibrated it to firearms. Major attributes include 9% exotic damage resilience, a 16,000 plus health roll, and 55% ammo capacity. Since I wanted to have some fun with this build, I have chosen to equip two superior gear mods rolled for firearms and 3% damage to elites on both. Now this was done for many of my subs who have consistently been commenting that I needed to equip these mods for extra damage to elites. Next up is the Pharaoh's Oxygen Mask that came with a rather low stamina primary attribute roll. 9% exotic damage resilience is my major attribute along with a recalibrated minor attribute of 12% damage to elites. I have once again equipped a superior gear mod with additional 3% damage to elites. Short bow championship pads are my knee pads and these originally dropped for me with an electronics primary role and I spent my recalibration on switching these over to firearms. Skill power is my major attribute along with minor attributes of disorient resistance, burn resistance and 13% damage to elites. A superior firearms gear mod with 3% damage to elites along with a 4% seeker mind damage performance mod round out this gear piece. The much hated ninja bike messenger bag is necessary for this all exotic build and mine came with an average stamina main stat roll. Now I refuse to spend credits to recalibrate this gear piece so I am rolling with additional skill power and 16% burn resistance. A superior firearms mod with 3% damage to elites and two 4% seeker mind damage mods finish off the backpack. Skull MC gloves are probably the most sought after exotic gear piece and mine came with a decent firearms main stat roll. Since they were originally rolled for additional shotgun damage, I spent my recalibration to move them over to additional assault rifle damage. Other major attributes include critical hit damage and health on kill. The last and hardest item for me to loot was the Colonel Bliss's holster, and it came with additional health as the major attribute and stamina as the primary role. As the performance mod, I once again chose to equip 4% Seeker Mind damage. I chose to equip the Urban MDR for this all exotic build as it is the most requested weapon I see in my video comment sections and it pairs nicely with this build. This particular Urban MDR has a slightly above average 21% enemy armor damage rating and originally came with the unforgiving, capable, and distracted weapon talents. Now I spent my recalibration on capable and eventually settled on destructive, but something like ferocious, adept, competent, or responsive would have all been good choices. Since the Urban MDR has a higher headshot damage multiplier than other ARs, when it comes to the weapon mods, it's all about headshot damage. I have a 120% extended magazine with critical hit damage and reload speed, 18.5% headshot damage 12 times zoom scope with critical hit chance and damage, 18.5% headshot damage suppressor with crit chance, and a small grip with crit damage. On my back is the exotic warlord AK-47 and at the time I recorded this video was just there for a little extra bling, but I will be posting a build for this weapon in the near future. My Warlord has 21% enemy armor damage along with the deadly, ferocious, and play rough weapon talents. Perhaps you can post a comment in the section below as to how best I should mod this beast of a weapon and what gear you would like to see it paired with. For my sidearm, I have chosen to equip the Golden Rhino as it just looks so sexy sitting there in the holster. So if you have been keeping track, this build stacks 40% damage to elites along with 35% enemy armor damage. In addition, the Skull MC gloves provide a flat 16% boost to damage along with the 5% Barrett's one skill on cooldown bonus to stack to 21% additional damage. All of these stats also apply to my Seeker Mines and once they have applied the bleed status effect to enemy targets, the Urban MDR Distracted Weapon Talent kicks in to give me a further 18% damage to targets under a status effect. 
This build is in no way the ideal setup, and I will be bringing a combination of certain exotic gear pieces comboed with select high-end gear pieces in a future video to show you just how much potential this kit can bring to the battlefield. Since I know I will be asked this in the comment section, I wanted to preemptively answer it now. The gear pieces that I would recommend that you actively try to loot are the Barrett's Vest, Shortbow Knee Pads, and Skull MC Gloves. The Pharaoh Mask is not bad as it does allow you to fire your weapon while on fire, but it is not as desirable as the first three pieces I mentioned. The Colonel Bliss holster is a bit gimmicky, and of course we all know how worthless the Ninja Bike backpack truly is. Now make sure to stay tuned until the end of this video for some highlights of me using this all exotic build in PvE. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off, and as always, would love to hear what you thought about my all exotic build video. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with a huge thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and my division content in your life, make sure to pound that sub button and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.